yet, but Aphromoo has been spamming this in solo queue. This is his style of playmaking champion. He is a bar god, this guy, and trying to get behind him. This is pretty telegraphed, so I think Whippo is probably fine, but we'll see. Gotta watch out, Hugh! Oh, 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 Deathbringer stance, living up to his name. Whippo, uh, calm face, that is not in front of you. And then you spread them out so they can't really be dodged. But we'll see. We're gonna see if that's enough said. damage to take down a trundle as he starts to move in. Pillar is there, so as they know that the flash is down. He now has to run for his life. The ignite is taking it. Woo! Not gonna connect on the stun, but Hillisang body blocking means he's just gonna die too. Double goes down for Cody Sun. That's the hundred thieves you wanna see. Yeah, Cody Sun getting both those kills and Hillisang. That so Definitely a well-timed gank there, but Aphromoo oh, caught out. This is going to be difficult. Phantom Undertow could just take him out to safety. Needs to make it out, but the Ignite is ticking. Ooh. Roxa hits him with the ult and takes him down. So Fnatic do get something back. Yeah, and they can look to pressure the turret off and that this amount of extra range on those oh, abilities. JTC immediately. The Rockets! Woo! Shoot the kill! NA, man. They keep stepping forward to that Heimerdinger. <laughs> no time before that happens. Oh, Binding. Oh, Binding does connect. Stop watch immediately cancel that by Caps. He wants a little bit more. The hook does not connect. That's bad news. Caps goes forward. No hesitation. Aphromoo with the ghost water dive. Still gets locked up into the tower. We're gonna have to hold that thought because Broxa is in the top lane. Cody Sun now running for his life. Zoaz is here as well, but he's walked face first into a Mundo. He does go golden. The super turret has been laid down. The stun goes on to Brandini. Disastrous striking. Cody Sun, it's all on you. Leaping forward, he gets one. Is he gonna pursue for more? Looks like he's just gonna back off in the end. He could continue to stay around here. I mean, Zoaz has no flash. Because they just have better sieging power than 100 Thieves. More wave clear, so they'll be able to actually get to these, right? Or even the Aatrox, a lot of people complain about how navigating team fights in the late game is so hard to do. Yeah. They still the turrets, the turrets are keeping at least. This might not be good. World Ender comes out. Whippo trying to make his way in the middle of the team. Ryu going to get connected there. Has to make it out. Flash immediately. Aphromoo running for it. Ooh! Like, Whippo! The damage there! The Darken Blade just cutting down Pike. They do get the pipe about this. Caps on the side. Exactly. Caps is on the sideline. Ryu, Ryu. Poke, Whippo down immediately. That could be the turn for under thieves. Ryu, no hesitation to move forward. That's a sleepy Sejuani. Can they get the follow? Doesn't quite connect. There's the calling. Caps needs to get one. But Ryu is popping off in this fight. The binding tries to buy a bit of time. Caps the black shield. Just in the middle of everything. Going to try to back off. Black shield gets him out. Baron is going to fall. That one in the favor of Now we'll wait till next, Baron. We'll wait till we have those next set of items and we'll try again. And 100 Thieves playing us out very, very patiently. But he's spotted out by Vision. Oh, the mid lane. Not, not going to connect. Cody Sutton, though, locked up, slowed down. Four now. He'll take moving forward. He's going to get deleted immediately. No. Buys a bit of time with the Zonia's Hourglass. Caps is here in the middle of that road. He wants to get a little bit more. Ooh. Cody Sutton now making it out. Whippo with the World Ender. He wants to look for the revive. Brandini on the front lines. Aatrox, will they kill him? Before he he out. out. Double kill dropping. Missed time on the side of Fnatic. Beautiful play from Under Thieves to keep the real point. Ryu. Ryu. The damage coming in from Zoe. Yes, Fnatic. Whereas for Hunter Thieves, you need about two things to go right for you and one thing to go wrong. For the binding, for binding. Cody Sun trying to make his way out. Ryu is going to go down immediately. The shutdown. This could be the fight. Whippo in the middle of everybody. World Ender, and he's looking to end 100 Thieves. Bring back the hope for Europe. Try to turn this fight. Confidence is the double kill drops for Caps. Keeping the fight going. They're looking to make one more. Three down. The mid lane ready. Where are Fnatic going to go? Baron in their sights. I oh, know. Yeah. It looks like they might try to just push down. Seconds. We'll see yep. if they want to go for this. I think they're gonna go for the throat. They're not going for that second inhibitor. Creep wave knocks down Soaz and the rest of Fnatic pushing in. Aphromoo's gotta find a way. Bit of time. Phantom Undertow comes out, but he's gonna get deleted in an instant. Can't even complete the death from a blow for a little bit of damage. Europe striking back here in the final best of five. Fnatic taking down 100 Thieves. And that makes it 1-1. As we will have Team Liquid versus Splice next. Very tense game. I mean, Fnatic with the advantage the whole way through, but 100 Thieves playing strong defense, staying alive for a long time. But you know, in that final fight, despite the Morgana binding missing, despite the Sejuani ult missing, they catch Ryu, they take him out, and Cody Sun goes down without using the flash to the Aatrox. You know, that is a critical mistake. You know, he played a very, very strong game, but when you are the one with all the gold, when you are the one dealing all the damage, you cannot afford to be dying to an Aatrox without using your summoner spells. Well, it looked like that moment.